Hello YouTube, welcome to the Diamond Series, and today we see the end of what has been pretty much a boring week. The Spring Garden Party is nothing for us, we're not going to be buying the pack, so we don't enjoy the cores and all the resources. Um, we've already done some of our Sky Labyrinth because it's kind of slow and boring, but now I have the choice. Do I go ahead and spend my pickaxes, or do I claim rewards from the event? And of course I just claim rewards from the event, because I'm getting free pickaxes and all that stuff, just for making some progress in the Spring Garden Party. So we might as well put those to use, we'll probably get some more. Should I use my gems to get some mysterious chests? <sighs> I don't think so. I'm not really tempted. I could get the bottom one. Eminent hero selection chest. Ah, oh, wait, no. If you guys saw the last episode. Yeah, I kind of used all my chests, didn't I? I? I did. That happened. Also, these are random, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. Two Eosis and an Azrael. What is that? Where's my Mockman? Vulcan... Elena. Hey, Lamac, I got one of each. That's not bad. Uh, but no, I think I am going to spend 8,000 gems. I got 39,000. I'm going to be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, let's get it. I need that stuff. It's the guild coins as well I kind of need. So we'll claim that. How's that do for spring points? Where are we at now? Nearly at 30. Ah, oh, well, there you go. That's fantastic. Uh, I, I could push it a little bit here for more spring points, but I'm not going to. Also, where are we up to in the Skylab? Let's take a little look, see. We're on floor... Oh, we're nearly at the chest. I need to get the chest, right? I need hero copies as a matter of urgency, so we're going to go grab that. So I'll just buy 10 pickaxes. I think that should be enough. And we'll see if we can clear out this floor. Pretty confident we're not going to get an active skill. But, you know, I say that, and it's looking like we might actually end up with an active skill. Come on, Halora. Oh, there we go. We're safe, guys. We're good. We're good. It's a W. We've made it through. Okay, there's four spring points. So now, there's the skin chests. We love that. So let's go ahead and claim. Grab that. We get more pickaxes. Then we're going to go back to Sky Labyrinth. And we should just finish this off by getting an active. One, two. Oh, there's plus two. That's perfect. An active right in the middle. Bang. That's where we love it. Happy days. Uh, should I switch to Asmodel here? You know what? If I'm going to get someone's active skill, it will be Asmodel. So I'll switch to him now. Claim this. It's probably not going to happen. But we might as well just blast through all this until we get the exit. So I'm going to buy a bunch more of these. Don't really need them. Get some more pickaxes there. Don't think we're going to get any more. So yeah, spending gems just to get the exit. That's fine. Right, and that's it. Oh, I overspent on three. That's annoying. I didn't realize we were so close. That's a shame. Could we keep going? Maybe. We have four more spring points from this. Uh, I could do another floor if I really wanted to. We might be able to squeeze out another one after that. That's... No, it's not worth it. I'm going to leave it. I'm definitely going to leave it. That's fine. So there we go. Claim those rewards. That's not even what we came here to do today. Today, we're going to do some way more progress. Much bigger. We're going to go ahead and push Lord of Fear Aspen. I think we're going to go back to the Aspen dungeon. A lot of people were asking if I did Purgatory. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. So we're going to go ahead and go as fast as we can on Lord of Fear Aspen to beat that. We're also going to see if we can build up some more tenants to make ourselves a bit stronger. Uh, at the moment, I've leveled up Aspen to level 400 because of the progress we made, but you can see my golden spirit now basically don't exist, so we're not going to make much progress here using that. And I wonder, can we get a skin for Aspen? Do I have, like, a festival skin chest something? I don't think there's any way I can get myself a skin for Aspen. I've got a bunch of skin chests here, though, so we could maybe use those. We could swap a legendary chest. I've never, ever, ever, ever swapped a skin ever in this game outside of a skin swap event so i have no idea how replacing a skin works so what legendary event skins have i got like have i got any fancy skins i've got jaras i kind of want to keep that though i have no other festival exclusive skins there's no way can i swap normal skins to festival exclusive there's no chance is there it's not it's not gonna let me do that is it that would be stupid. I don't think we can do it. Poor Aspen. What about the guild? Have we ever been a good guild? Have, have we ever done ace? I have 20 ace tickets. <laughs> hey, not enough for this skin over here. Be quite nice if we could get it, though. It's a pretty cool skin. Damage reduction, HP and attack. Uh, so in that case, I'm just going to have to accept our losses here, I think. We're not going to be getting a skin for Aspen anytime soon. So let's just go send him into whatever realm we can to make some progress. We'll see if we've also got some stuff here that's going to improve our progress overall. So I'm going to open this for Stellar Shards. We might get some value out of them. I'm going to open this 
it's just a bunch of resources. Uh, so we get to pick. Hmm. That's annoying. I'm going to save that. I don't think I want to open those chests yet because I would go for Fluorite because Elena is a Transcendence hero. I don't actually have an Elena. I don't have anyone for Tender Spot 4, so that's a bit of an issue. So let's just see what we can do in the Celestial Island. Let's just go level up our buildings, if there's any levels to be accumulated in here. Probably aren't. It's not like we've got many opportunities for resources recently. Yeah, nah, it's pretty slow and steady. So, yeah, really, it's just building number four here. I, I just need to build someone. I need this Elena. It's going to take a while before we get her, though, obviously, because the account is in one of those situations where getting ourselves an Elena is going to require us to have, obviously, 5 million Crystals of Transcendence, which we don't have. So, patience, patience, patience. It'll be fine. Anything else we can do? Can we enhance, like, on Kiramaru or something? Improve his imprints? Uh, we can, actually. We can get him to Void 1. That's probably a really good idea. So, let's do that. That's going to allow us to get some extra bonus stats, which should help us out against opponents. And we have a 10-star puppet here that we can throw in. That's absolutely perfect, then. So, uh, yeah, a stronger on Kiramaru is just better for the account. We could even go with Void 1 on Carry or, or Drake. Probably Carry, right? Let's do that. Let's see if we can get all the levels out. If we can't, we can just go get ourselves some more Stellar Shards. I'm sure there's going to be a shop where we can accumulate some. Um, we get to level 8 there, so absolutely we can. Let's go to the Void Arc. Bound to pick some up in the Void Arc. So let's go into here. We've got the Central Hall, and I'm going to buy these. Just like that. Bang, 15,000 gets me Stellar Shards. So that's one or two levels for carry, I think. Let's have a look. One level, two levels. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So put that 10 star Gusta there. Void one. There we are. Perfect. So with that, we've made Aspen a little bit stronger. He's now rocking 1.22, which is less than last time, but that's because I've given him speed enables. If he was obviously running attack enables, he'd be even higher. Also, we can do broken spaces today. I haven't really got a broken spaces lineup set up. So yeah, we're basically just going to experiment to see what Lord of Fear Aspen can do if anything, right? So we'll just put these guys in. I think Onkiramaru improves our protection. We could energy feed with an Ignis, or we just go with probably Waldeck. Like, that's probably a really good lineup. Let's go see what that lineup does against Broken Spaces. First, we'll upgrade our monster, and then we'll go into Aspen Dungeon. So monthly events, Broken Spaces, here we go. Should wreck this. It's Aspen, right? Aspen does really, really well, especially with the upgraded active skill. Oh yeah, just one shots the wave. That's a very good start. Right, stage two. Here we go. How are we going to do against a Sierra and a Demon Hunter? Is this a one shot again? Uh, it'll be a two shot, I think. Yeah. Then again, he's got a basic coming. Yeah. And then with the active, finally, he should kill. Bang. There you go. Yeah. That's a dead Demon Hunter. And then we win. Nice. Okay. And the reason I've put Lord of Fear Aspen in slot one is so that basic attacks target him. So his Blood Frenzy from Waldeck goes off. And that's going to, of course, buff him up as he gets hit, which is good. Um, but yeah, all of an all, I think with the energy steal from Carry, the Blood Frenzy, the armor from Onkiramaru, we should just dominate these guys. Like, without a doubt. Pretty confident we're going to be very good. One more active here. Oh, one-shotting the whole thing down. 13 billion damage. Nicely done. All Aspen. What a chad. Stage four. Here we go. Gruz. So let's go. Pretty sure he one shots this crew now, maybe. Because he's got the debuff from the Drake, which is normally the annoying thing about Gru. Obviously, Gru increases his own defensiveness as well by debuffing the crit of your team. So we probably want Attribute Reduction Purify if we're going to min-max on here with the Aspen. If you guys are ever struggling against Gru, Attribute Reduction Purify is probably the best thing you can put in. I already know, though, that Aspen's probably going to kill this. So <laughs> just one nice juicy active should smack now. Here we go. Also, we have a lot of survivability on this team. Like I was already saying about the, obviously, the Blood Frenzy and the Energy Steal from Carry and the Armor from Onkiramaru. Heartwatcher steals attack. And so does Lord of Fear Aspen. So we have tons of ways of living. So I feel really comfy here. I don't think we're going to struggle one bit. Oh, that's big damage. Nicely done. Amazing. Yeah, Lord of Fear Aspen's an absolute beast. Right, should finish this with one more active skill. And then we can see how much damage he's done. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm thinking like 24 billion. Oh, so close. 23 billion. Nice. Still good damage, though. Right, stage five, Jara Valentino. 
Let's see how this goes. Ah, so he's primarily targeting Valentino. So really, we need Lord of Fear and Aspen in slot two here. We'd kill them quicker. Because annoyingly, Jara isn't going to get focused by Lord of Fear and Aspen's active skills. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. But actually, as the rounds go on, Valentino, as you can see now, is the lowest HP. So now it doesn't matter. Because Drake's debuff hits Valentino. So actually, there's no problem with Lord of Fear and Aspen being in slot one. That's good. So yeah, it naturally corrects itself. Perfect. And yeah, there you go, Valentino's dead. <laughs> and won't the new hero come out of Transcendent uh, for Anniversary? I don't think so. It's looking like it's going to be May. Unless they come up with something else for May. Maybe they'll release a brand new hero and transcend them like they did with Chinese New Year, right? Anything's possible with the devs. Ooh, freeze! That's not nice. But of course, we're going to be okay against that corpse demon because when we attack, we get frozen, but then Control Purifier removes it. It's mainly the twine from the Oberon we need to be scared of. As long as we can energy steal him with carry, though, we should be fine, but yeah, it's not perfect. Come on, Lord of Fear Aspen. See if you can beat this. I don't think we're going to beat this in a single fight. I might be wrong, though. There might be an opportunity to. It's just going to be really hard to get Corpse Demon to be lowest HP. Because that correction we saw with the Valentino, that's fine, right? Because it's Valentino. He's not got that much health compared to Jara. So putting him as lowest HP was fine. But as you can see here, over on a Corpse Demon, it's a huge difference. Corpse Demon is one of the highest HP heroes in the game. So it's going to take a while for him to be lowest. He is now, though, so should kill this. And uh, Anniversary is probably going to be a double event. Yeah, it should be a two-week long event, I'm expecting. That's what it was last time, right? Defeat, 26 billion. Nice, okay. All right, so if that's one attack... Corpse Demon is now the lowest HP, so we should just totally focus this down with Aspen, and we should have this beaten super duper easy. So one fat active on this Corpse Demon, and we're pretty much good to go. Just need to crit. And there it is. Nice. Oberon getting energy stolen now, it's going to be really helpful. It's a shame we can't put fear on him. That'll make the fight a little easier. But then again, we do way more damage because we can't fear bosses. That's a really cool thing about Lord of Fear Aspen. Go ahead and read his active skill. He's got this thing like Demon Lord's Might or something like that, um, which basically says if he's able uh, or unable, sorry, to put fear on an opponent such as a boss because of that's just how they're made, he just does a ton of extra damage to them instead, which is why he's really good against Star Expedition. And there you go. Ton of damage there. Very nice. Right, stage seven. How quickly are you going to beat this one, buddy? Two shot, one shot? Let's find out. Oh, Ada? Wait, Ada has more HP than Aspen. That's weird. I'm pretty sure after a few bonks, that's going to change. Come on, Aspen. One nice active skill, and then... Yeah, there you go. Ada already lowest HP. So the two of them were really, really close on who had the most HP. So all it took was a few attacks, and now it's sorted itself out. We have the problem of... Um, Poor Drake has gotten Bending Will triggered already. Aspen's a very aggressive hero, and I'm talking about their Aspen. And Ada's going to whittle away at us with true damage at the end of rounds, which is annoying. We should kill this Ada, though, and if she falls before Drake falls... Oh, no, Drake just died. Uh, that's a problem. We need a nice active skill then from Aspen just to kill her. Oh, defense down got removed. That's not good. That's going to slow this fight down. I think it's going to take two attempts, considering Drake's dead. Yeah, it's going to be an issue. Big, big problem. Oh, Heartwatch is dead now as well. Fun. Come on, Aspen. Just at least get the kill by round 15, dude. No, wow. They are really tanky. It's mad how much of a difference Drake makes by being on the team. And you could say, you know, you've, you've seen teams with much higher attack heroes dominate this without Drake. Well, yeah, it's because you've got much higher attack and you're probably using an Olivia. Uh, that's that's typically the way it goes. But when you're running an early team like this, like Drake is still the value that you get for stripping away defenses on opponents is pretty unmatched. And uh, yeah, we should have this one dead. No problem. Nice fat active. I'm curious about how Broken Space's stage eight is going to go. That's going to be the real test. If we can one shot, I guess about maybe like 5% of it away, I'm happy to smash. It really depends how much damage we can do. Because they have a lot. So much HP. But I'm imagining the account's going to struggle against 8 and 9. We don't have ticks for the attack steal. Then again, Aspen's fine, so it doesn't really matter. 
he's going to be able to attack steel anyway. Other heroes I want to worry about getting on the account, maybe Olivia. Olivia could be a pretty good assister to doing extra damage. So if we find ourselves just with the option of building an extra E5 and we've got all of our tenants, Olivia could be a pretty good addition. And Aspen was horrified. Well, yeah, the, the opposing Aspen can get horrified. Uh, if we remove his control immunity. It's a little thing that Lord of Fear Aspen's able to do. I think you can cause bosses to get CC'd somehow. It's weird. The enemies have so much control immunity, though, that whittling it all away is quite hard to do. Okay, so Aspen definitely lives. And he's able to out-heal the damage attempts of Tara and Carry. So that's some good stuff we know. So that went for 13 billion damage. That did 2%. Mate, that's a W. Let's go. That that that's that's good. 2%'s fine. Yeah, that was like what, 30 attempts? Okay. Now it's Drake Russell. Holy moly. Now's the real challenge. Right, we've lost our Drake. That's a problem. Oh, yeah. Russell's gonna melt the team. So how much damage can we do before that happens? Four billion. Hmm. I kind of want to just throw everything we've got at this. But at the same time, it's probably not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. Right, and yes, we could use Rogan to improve our early burst damage. That might be good, but I, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think we're still going to lose. Right, let's claim all this stuff. Let's upgrade the monster. We've got a couple levels there. Wow, exactly five left. That's funny. And um, okay, yeah, level 60. Perfect. Wow, that's used everything. Wow. We are now monster material broke. I never thought you'd see a mid-game account look like that. And we need 300 tickets if you're doing 4 billion per hit. You think? You want to find out? If that's true, I'm happy to give it a spin. They have 1.2 trillion HP. Okay, that sounds right then. Um, and do it with Rogan. That's true. Adding in Rogan might be a pog idea. So we'll uh, remove the wall deck. Put in the 10 star Rogan. We're only going to get that initial burst damage, but it's fine because the rest of the team just dies anyway. So let's see how it does in broken spaces now with the Rogan added. I don't expect a miracle, but let's see what happens. The Phoenix is also more powerful now, so we should be able to do more damage. I don't know if the extra crit damage is going to make too much of a difference on the Aspen, though. It might do. I mean, it won't anymore, because it's round three. <laughs> but, you know, wishful thinking. Aspen does get two actives here. Oh, and we're dead from defense down. And Russell's arrows. Yep, that makes sense. 10 billion damage! Oh! That was actually pretty good. Let's smash. Let's go. Brown. Hey! 100 tickets! Nice! Broken spaces get wrecked. That was good. Right, we can use those resources as well to up our tenants. So, let's see. Oh, we're going to run out of resources really quick, but we can. We can. So all that spirit, all that gold, that's going to be more powerful heroes. That's why we did it, right? We did it to make these guys stronger so that now we don't feel so bad for using them. On top of that, do we have any additional Rogan copies lying around with nine star heroes we can use? I'm pretty sure we do. We got a nine star puppet. We got some Rogans. Do I make E1 Rogan? Do we want to make him E5? Is he going to be our next hero project, you think? Or do we leave Rogan at 10 star? and use all our food to build Mockman. I think that's better. A twitchy-fingered player would build Rogan now because it's like, oh, well, I could build Rogan. But I think it's much more intelligent to save resources and wait for the E5 Mockman because a fourth tenant is much better value than any bonuses we'll get from E5ing Rogan because it doesn't change his passive unless we make him Void 3. So we save. Uh, do you need Waldeck now as well? Uh, Waldeck just supports, right? He's just a support hero. He's going to give us the Blood Frenzy, which is good in longer fights. So that's going to help in stuff like Realmscape. We'll build a team for that as well after we've done Aspen Dungeon. So let's go into Aspen Dungeon. Uh, let's make sure that we're wearing the Receptor. We are. We've got... Probably I want speed against this. So we'll go... Sp oh, speed attack or speed HP. 
Because I can reset for speed attack if we want it. I think speed attack is the superior item. So yeah, we're going to go get speed attack. So let's just convert this. Speed crit. That's cute. And there you go. Speed attack. Second time lucky. Perfect. Right. Let's do this. Let's put it to the test. Good luck. Lord of Fear Aspen. We'll put in everyone else. It's not going to make any difference, though. Let's see what we end up with. We have one potion, which is HP. Oh, and crit damage. There you go. HP and crit damage. We just managed to get that stuff. Accumulate. Crit damage is great, actually. As for resources that have come through, don't think there's anything we need to invest in. We've got a few things that we can grab for gold, like arena tickets. And the rest of this stuff is just going to be arena tickets and promotion stones. So we will grab the promo stones, because they're always something I'm really struggling to have enough of. Right, let's go ahead and see what this Aspen can do. Here we go. Pretty much gonna shut down these opponents. There you go, infinite CC. And yeah, the round is endless. That is pretty good. Nicely done. Let's get those toolboxes in. We now have Oberon. Let's go fight him. And is it just infinite crowd control again? <laughs> yep. Oh boy, Aspen? You're very good at this. He's very, very, very good at this indeed. Oh, on Kira. Jesus! Stop it! Oh my word! We nearly died! I'm sorry, what? I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Instantly made me scared of four man waves. Whew. Crazy. What's this? Oh, Sherlock and friends. What? Do, mm. What does this wave do? We get doved? I don't know if I want to demon potion this or not. Science, let's go. Jeez, man. Okay, good healing. Really, really good healing. Perfect. Yep. That was not an issue, I'm surprised. Whew. Okay, Annabelle's, we've already beaten them. That should be easy. Rogans? They'll be fine. Any two-man wave will be okay. I'm pretty confident we can beat all that. Bloodblade wall deck. Shouldn't be an issue. Probably might lose a bit of HP. Yep, not a lot. Tussle Largo. I'm not going to waste your time with that one. That should be fine. Sigmund, Eloise, Amon Ra, Fiona. Yeah, I'm demon potioning. That is gross. Amon Ra is the problem. Oh, what? Well, that's that's. Even with a demon potion, we did nothing. That was pretty rough. Hey, hey but I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick on the server. This is a budget account. How am I? Am I just a pro gamer? Like, what the hell? Does people just give up when they get to purgatory? Does do people just stop trying? Right, in that case, let's go do some other stuff. We have Tower of Oblivion, which we need to go and beat. We were stuck against this penny wave, but I'm now pretty sure everything's going to be hilariously easy. So we need to make sure that our six-man lineup is perfectly set up. I think it already is, though, right? Uh, yeah, the only thing Rogan needs is anything to keep him alive, so we'll go Gilded Purple Fan on him. We'll save that. Also, let's check if we can actually upgrade the Gilded Purple Fan and the Blacksmith. I probably can't. I mean, I could destroy that Echo of Death over there. I don't really need to, though. Also, have I got any artifacts that we can summon out? Let's go take a little look. Let's go to the bag. Artifacts. Oh, I do have some. Okay, we might be able to get, like, a Glittery. Oh, we sh yeah, we definitely can get a Glittery, so... Let's build ourselves a Glittery Gilded Purple fan then. Okay, perfect. So, let's go yoink it off whoever's wearing it. I don't think anyone is though. No, they're not. So, Blacksmith, Almost Workshop, and then Glittery Gilded Purple fan. To make that, we need to destroy some artifacts. So, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of this. And then, just get rid of the reds? Is that enough yet? Do I have to get rid of Echo of Death as well? I think so. So, let's disassemble all this. That leaves me with 6,000, so I just need an extra 700 or something like that. Should be easy enough to accumulate if I use everything. 
Come on, please don't let me down. 660, there you go. That's perfect. Exactly 7,000. Perfect. Artifact Forge. Put that in, put that in. There you go. Glittery fan. So Rogan should have a bit more survivability now with that. Um, or even Waldeck, to be honest. I'm going to give Waldeck the fan. I think that's better for him and the crown's better on the Rogan. I could be wrong, but I mean, who cares? Both are probably just going to die. So there you are. And also Rogan, I need to give you this. And also he's still got crit precision. I never did fix that. He needs HP of some sort. So let's give him a HP stone. So convert, speed HP. There you are. All right. Let's give him the good stuff and see what happens. So off to the Tower of Oblivion we go. Let's put in our six man lineup. That's going to be good. Still using the lion. I think that's our best choice here. Let's destroy it. Bang. Good job, Aspen. What have we got next? Michelle? Bang. Amon Ross. Boom. They're going to die. And if we face anything that we can't instant kill, it's just going to be Lord of Fear Aspen needing to not get CC'd. And then kill everything and then dies. Okay, cool. So yeah, Dark Arthendol's on the back line there, so we just need to move the team. So let's find out if we kill us. Wait, but weirdly, Sloth 4 was the one that needed to be one shot. Oh, that still worked anyway. That's good. Yeah, why the heck is it all going into Slot 4? That's very unusual that Drake's Defense Down's doing that. But Aspen's one-shotting every wave. Ah! It just comes down to whether he crits or not. So in that case, let's go put Crit Crit Attack <laughs> on the Lord of Fear Aspen. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah, this is going real nice. So, uh, I assume he's wearing Crit Crit Attack. Yeah, he is. So he's already got Crit Crit Attack on. Just check the lineup. So we should be really good here. Yeah, dominating the tower. No surprise there, actually. Like, Aspen is just cracked. A really, really fun early hero. If you guys want to get good value out of someone, thanks to all the Tree of Origin stuff, we can really recommend him now as an early hero because he is able to one-shot enemies. Holy bajolies. He nearly one-shot a Mimwave. Let's go! Wow! That was great. That was really good. Bet you didn't expect that one. <laughs> the amount of people I've seen struggle against Mimwaves to watch a full team of six heroes and one hero almost annihilate the entire wave is truly satisfying. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Are there any more Mimwaves we need to deal with or have we totally beaten this now? I'm pretty sure we're there. We've got to be. Bang. Yeah, super good. We're, yeah, we're nearly at the top. We got seven more waves left. I don't think there's any more Mims to deal with. Just goes to show. If you're struggling against a tower, just be patient. Get a Transcendence Hero and kill it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And he's still missing tenants. Yep. Still doesn't even have a full set of tenants. None of them are Transcendent. None of them are Flags. His homes are half-built. Yeah. Just a good hero. Then again, I say that, like, Transcendence Heroes have always dominated Tower of Oblivion. You shouldn't find this too surprising. Like, people were clearing Tower of Oblivion before Transcendence Heroes existed. Tix was just able to do the whole thing. So you should have Tower of Oblivion cleared if you're going with a Tix based strategy. You know, LOEs into Tix into carry, that kind of stuff. As long as Tix is in your build order, Tower of Oblivion should be fine. There's even a way to beat Mimwaves using Tix as your main hero. It involves a lot of Michelles, though, but it works. And I think Baby Tixes. Maybe it's one Michelle and a bunch of Baby Tixes. That sounds correct. Beautiful. And there you go. Tower of Dreams. Unlocked. Nicely done. So with all that, I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made. The last thing I want to go and show you with this team is Realmsgate. See what we can do in here. 
We're on Void Corruption 72, so this shouldn't be hard. Right? It should be pretty easy. I'm quite confident that Lord of Fear has been one-shots these guys. Just gotta watch for the active. Oh, okay, you killed Queen, that's fine. Just need to focus down the others. Gotta watch out for that stun from Cruz, that could be an issue. Um, no, we're fine. And there you go, the King Barton actually doing nothing here to us. That is a nice win. So, slot 6 was the focus there with Abyss. Let's see how Dark goes. Slot 5 there, it's Carrie getting debuffed. Although, ah, wow, okay. Aspen just deleted Dark Arthendol. Now he's focusing and has feared Amon Ra. That's brilliant, so we don't have to worry about healing Curse. So, oh, nope, never mind. Just straight up got healing cursed. That's annoying. So that was really unlucky. So the healing curse hit Aspen, and then Ignis one-shot Aspen with her heal. It's not really supposed to go like that, I'll be honest with you guys. But it happens, right? Sometimes Amon Ra high rolls on you. Doesn't matter, as long as you've got a healer that does insanely good healing, they will kill whoever gets healing cursed like that. So that was just a very unlucky interaction that they didn't kill Ignis sooner. So Horus here should be fine. It's only Shadow. The only issue is Gustin if he starts pinging Aspen, but I don't think Gustin's going to pose too much of a threat. Um, he'll be our second focus after Kamath. So we should kill the Kamath. Oh, and then clean up everybody else. Yep, that's fine. Horus ain't going to be a problem. So pretty sure just get him dead. Yep. And then we've already seen us beat Horus Wave, so that's fine. You know we can beat this. And then Gru's. This is going to be Forest. So there's going to be Garuda in here, Oberon. Curious how this one plays out. Okay, we got the energy steal on the Garuda. Carry, you absolute chad. Brilliant. And, oh, big damage there. That's nice. Now we're going to focus Rosa. Rosa's low HP as well, so he should die from this. And that's, yep, going to hurt everybody else. Carry not stealing energy from Garuda. I think we tanked the Garuda hit on Aspen. Um, oh, Aspen didn't even get hit. Pretty confident we one shot now. Oh, we might not do, actually. Defense downs on the Gru? It's annoying. Will carry come back? Oh, we feared the... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I was going to say we feared the Garuda, but it won't matter. But then again, the active skill... Yeah, the active skill, even though it went off, didn't kill us because of, I assume, debuffs. Let's go. Hello, Casey. Right. Increase backline attack, increase frontline HP, increase backline crit. Uh, let's just go with attack. On backline allies, because that's where Lord of Fear Aspen is right now. Let's grab this crystal, and let's get the hell out of here. There we go. And we're going to go into this next stage. It's another crystal stage, so... Should be able to beat these Grus in one tap. Yep, you've seen us do that already. Hit this. There's Light Wave now. Asmodel, we haven't fought these guys yet, so... Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see if we get a good kill. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Instantly killing the Michelle and the Faith Blade. Another active skill from Lord of Fear Aspen. Cleans up the whole thing. Hot oh, dang. That was a really good hit. Really, really good. All right, let's get out of here. And next stage. We have Shadow. We've beat them already. Abyss. As long as we kill the Queen, we're fine. Fortress. Okay, this is the one we haven't fought. I don't know if I'm worried or if this is going to be fine. Ormus's rescue marks triggering. Okay, that's good. Getting that out the way. Then Aspen's hit on the Ormus should get the kill. Wiping the rest of them out of here. So much for rescue marks. Rescuing you from what? Nice. You know what they should add? They should make Ormus's rescue marks resurrect if you're killed whilst you have it. I think that would be a sick mechanic. It would make Ormus borderline busted, but I feel like that's what rescue marks should do. Right? Rescue marks should save you from death. And if you want to get extra gnarly, resurrect you with full energy. Because that'd be really fun. Or am I inventing too many broken heroes? Right? Transcendent Ormus. When? <laughs> and let's go ahead and put in this portal. We'll put in our 10 star. Are we... Which one are we not using? Are we using Rogan in that team? So it's Onkiramaru we're not using, right? He's the one we can throw in. Let's go double check on our six-man lineup. Uh, yeah, Onkiramaru is the throwaway, so we'll go back to the Gate of the Void, hit the, the Realm's Gate, 
go in and put on Kiramaru in the mine. Uh, no, not Aspen. <laughs> and there we go. Good. So we should be able to smash now through the rest of the things. So we're going to pan our path. Actually, you know what? No, let's go fight the puppet wave. Let's go see how we do against these bosses. So should easily clear through the rest of these minions. And now we have a puppet. This is Atrocity. I think Aspen wins. Because he does extra damage against these guys, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's one already dead. As long as Drake stays alive, we're going to be fine. Because of defense down. It's going to be brutal. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. We're really, really healthy here. I think a nice big active as well. Should get some overflow damage. There you go. And now we're just left with one puppet to fight. Should have this guy beat. Perfect. That's a lot of damage. Nicely done. So there you go, folks. That is how our Aspen is doing across pretty much all game modes. So good lad. Really looking forward to it, to seeing how far we can progress with this. Everything's gone really well. Tower of Oblivion's beaten. Aspen Dungeon, we can try there for a few attempts, but it's going to take slow to steady progress to get there. Next heroes to build, of course, are going to be Mockman. We need to go ahead and build another Transcendence hero, and it's just a matter of grinding through events, getting rewards, and hopefully Anniversary is going to be huge for this account. Already got my Mockman copies ready to go. Just need dark food. So between now and then, we're going to hopefully have a pretty good time i'll let you know how far we can go in the realms gate probably get to realms gate 100 now just through hitting through this much quicker than we were clearing with waldeck he was two tapping a lot of waves which was slowing us down massively but now thanks to having a proper account that isn't struggling we should be making a ton of progress so folks i'll see you next time thanks for tuning in if you want to catch more diamond series stuff hit that subscribe button and of course, have a good week yourselves. I hope you, uh, you know, learn a thing or two. Maybe you want to try Aspen for yourself, or maybe you're going to go with something more traditional like a Mockman or a Sword Flash. Either way, have a good time, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy idling.